So guys, for the first step, you wanna click on the power button right here and you wanna hold shift on your keyboard and then click on restart. This is where the shift key is located on your keyboard. You wanna hold shift and then click on restart. So we're gonna click on the power button, hold shift on your keyboard and then click on restart. And then click on restart again if you get this. Keep on holding on shift as the computer is restarting. Do not let go of shift, keep on holding it which will now take us to here. And now once you're on this, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then Command Prompt. If you don't see Command Prompt in this list, you wanna click on See More Recovery Options, then it should appear right here. So now you wanna click on Command Prompt, and now this will come up. And now once you're on this, you wanna type in net space user space administrator space forward slash active colon yes and I click on enter. Now this will make the administrator account active if you want to get into that. For the next step you want to type in reg edit and I click on enter and now this will come up. And now once you're on this you want to click on HK local machine and now you want to click on file and I click on load hive. Now once you're on this you want to click on this PC. Now you want to click on your C drive and then click on Windows. And now you want to find System32. We're gonna scroll down till we find System32. Double click on it. And now you wanna find the config folder. We're gonna scroll down, double click on config. Now we're gonna find software. You wanna scroll down, click on software, and then click on open. And now this will come up. And now in this box right here, you wanna type in M software, and then click on OK. And now once you're back on this, you want to expand HK Local Machine and you should now be seeing MS Software. You want to expand MS Software and now you want to expand Microsoft and now we're going to expand Windows NT. By the way, you can follow everything that I'm doing up here. So now we're going to scroll down till we find Windows NT. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. You want to expand Windows NT. Now you want to expand current version. Now we're going to expand passwordless. We're going to scroll down till we find passwordless. You want to expand that. And you should now be seeing device. You want to click on device. And now this will appear on the right side. Again, you can follow everything that I did up here. Make sure that you're now in the device folder. And we should now be seeing device passwordless build version. Double click on it. Now in this box right here, you wanna make it zero. Make sure that on the value data, you have the number zero and then click on okay. And now once you do all of that, we're just gonna unexpand everything. So just click on the arrow, we're just gonna scroll up. You wanna unexpand all of this. You want to find MS software again, make sure that you have it selected. Now you wanna click on file and then click on unload hive. And then click on yes. Now once you do all of that, we're now going to close out of this and then close out of this as well. And now you want to continue to Windows, wait for this to load, which will now take us back to this screen. It should now allow you to either enter in your PIN or your password and you can now log in. That's how you do it.